Hi, I'm Ryan, and today I'm going to show you some new arcade kits that I've been working on. Since my 2013 Kickstarter for my 7-inch Porta Pie Arcade, I've had a lot of feedback, requests, emails, and general inquiries about changes they'd like to see for future kits. I'm happy to say, over the course of many years and a couple of designs and revisions, I've incorporated most of those changes. Here's an overview of everything I offer, and you can see the last iteration of the 10-inch Porta Pie kit, which is what you're looking at right now. This is the first kit that I've offered, and this is the most up-to-date version, the 10-inch screen, which now all kits use. But this is the smallest, and like all of them, it also fits a Raspberry Pi. I made a slightly larger cabinet, which I introduced beginning of this year. That's the Jammer Arcade 1 player. But I've also made a 2 player and a vertical cabinet. Here's the Jammer Arcade. This is like the sweet spot of single player arcades on the 1 8th scale, if there is. It's about 13% bigger than the Porta Pi Arcade, which gives it just enough room for flexibility for a more versatile control panel, which you can see here has a trackball in this case. You can also make it portable, add a battery pack. And it's large enough that you can, we'll say comfortably in air quotes, have two players. Now this is really limited early 80s games, one or two buttons. But I'm also happy to say, taking the inspiration from the four-player X-Men or four-player NBA Jam Arcade cabinets, I made this two-player arcade. The control panel is wider and just a bit longer than the standard Jam Arcade, but this gives it room to fit two players comfortably. You can also see the vertical cabinet, which is the standard aspect ratio or orientation for most arcade games from the 80s to mid and early 90s. This was an, the second biggest request. This is now just an overview of the JAMA Arcade, the wood panels, along with the full kit, and the vertical cabinet panels, its shell, and what the full kit looks like. And finally, the latest new one is a two-player one, the wood shell, and the full kit, what that looks like. I also have acrylic panels to cover up your artwork, protect your marquee, and so on. And those are optional and extra, and that is what's shown in all the arcades in this video. And if you're not sure of all this information, I have a bill of materials that's available that covers all the arcades and what's in them, the biggest difference being the number of buttons included and the type of power supply. So if you're like me and you've always wanted to have a full arcade in your house or apartment, maybe money is an issue, maybe space is an issue, and maybe you have a small second floor apartment, and maybe moving arcade cabinets up and down flights of stairs just isn't your thing, that's where all of this started. I wanted to make my own arcade and well, one thing led to another and here we are and well, I just can't stop myself. You can find all these kits on my website which is retrobuiltgames.com. Go to the shop page, you can see all the junk I offer including some new kits I'm working on like the claw machine. But you can click the arcade kits which is the core of what I offer and just click on details of what kit you want to find out. You can select the kit type. You could also pick the power supply for some kits and as well as pick the button colors you want in the kit. General tips and instructions are laid out for each one, but the basic assembly is very similar to the Porta Pi Arcade where you can read the manual, which is always up to date and follow along with that. Thanks everybody for watching. Hopefully you found something you like. I appreciate it. Take care.